Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Thursday morning, May 25th, and we're looking at Window Traders Market Profile of the ES and SPY. So again, our emotional carousel, roller coaster, whatever you want to call it, continues um, after NVIDIA earnings come out. Now remember, the NQ has been the strongest index by far this year. Um, again, for one stock to have that kind of move on their earnings um, <laughs> is kind of kind of silly. We'll look at that chart in a second to show you the emotional trading of it. But bottom line is uh, we're looking to possibly gap open. Let's go to NQ first. So first of all, remember NQ went down on the daily yesterday. They came into balance on Tuesday, down on Wednesday, and now they're firmly back in balance on Thursday, as you can see, right? Now, it'll be right now a one, two, three, four, five, and today will be six day balance as they try to get back up to the high they made on Tuesday. Remember, um, they have pretty open skies above here. You know, it was one thing, it was nice for them to uh, come back into balance on Tuesday. Yesterday, they pushed it very visual how they held the trend day from the 17th. And now they're exploding back up. They're going to have a sizable gap in NQ this morning. Okay. Um, Righty, on the other hand, actually overnight took out yesterday's low. And they're trading near the bottom of yesterday's range after their B-shape. As far as we're concerned, um, we're possibly looking to gap higher, right? That's, which is just the norm this year. It'll be just another uh, usual gap for us. But look where we are right now. Okay, again, please don't trade ES versus NQ. NQ not only has a huge gap, they're taking back, they had a triple distribution day on, tu on Tuesday. They're taking that all back. Look with it where their wide overnight pock is. It's right in the upper distribution from that day. As they base there and now it's taking off as they're making higher highs. Okay, but we can't trade ES based on them. Right now, our goal will be depending on where the overnight high is, fill in the gap. And then don't forget, we did have a trend day on the 23rd also, and our afternoon rally high. So those will be steps uh, ES has to take um, as they try to go higher here. So we have, a, again, I'm in twos. I'm not sure how wide this overnight park is. Now, if gaps have not held for the most part this year. We'll see how large this gap is. Um, again, now this is interesting. We had an island reversal gap back in early May. We may get another one this morning. What do we mean by that? Here's Tuesday. Wednesday gap lower. Didn't fill it. And now Thursday might gap higher to leave this all by itself. I mean, it's just, you know, these, these aren't um, uh, common occurrences and we might have two this month. The question is, if we do get the gap, does it hold? It's not that large right now. On the other hand, NQ is certainly going to have one. Now, they didn't have one the last time. Righty did, and we did. So this would be their first island reversal gap. They almost came close to filling yesterday's gap late in the day, but they did not. Okay, and now they're certainly gapping higher. So they're going to start with an island reversal gap. So, um, again, NQ, monthly and weekly are up. Daily is back in balance with an island reversal gap. That's pretty, pretty positive. As far as a game plan, well, again, we're going to be coming into different levels here. Can you take a short against the overnight high and, this, and the gap from yesterday if we're around here at 930? Sure you can, okay? If the overnight high gets pushed up and we open above the gap fill. Again, depend on where the overnight high is. If it's anywhere near our upper end of the lower distribution, you can take a short against that the first time. Again, these are all just responsive plays if we get to these levels. As far as a long, remember we price probed. So if we do fill the gap, I'd be looking for long against A's high. And the acceptance back below A, I'd be a little more careful. Remember, we did have a 12 wide, uh, what were our pox? 12 or 11 wide. They were wide regardless. 12 in SPY, and I think it might have been 12 wide in ES also. So, but any acceptance back into, especially value, you'd go trade there. So long against either the gap and or the price probe. 
and a short the first time, possibly against the overnight high, depending on where it is. A lot happening today. The good thing is we're going to have some uh, nice, uh, hopefully, range in volume. And then on the chart, so look at this first of all. This is NVIDIA. Okay, NVIDIA actually came out of balance yesterday to go down on the daily. They are now going to have a gap of 80, right now it's $87. I mean, that's just unheard of. It's up 29%. Just absolute craziness. Look at triple Qs. Okay, so we talked about Qs. Monthly is still healthy. That's, that's not including today's action. Weekly was healthy. And now the daily, again, the daily went down. Now their high yesterday was 332.90, rounded out 333. $5.5 gap to the upside for triple Qs. And look where they're trading, right against the yearly high. And then for us, we're going to be coming back into balance. Right now, I would call it a three-day balance, okay? It would be uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and today would be a three-day balance. So um, we'll see if to how much of this rally holds in NQ and um, specifically NVIDIA. Uh, it's pretty pretty intense um, move on their part. It will be a, a situation changing throughout the day. Come join us at camelbacktrading.org. Thanks for your likes and subscribing to this channel. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.